Welcome to another Exchange 2016 video. My name is Ed. In this video, we're going to take a look at disabling the Exchange control panel, if you want to call it Admin Center, um, and only allow access to um, Exchange Management Shell. So, as you can see, I'm logged in to my um, Exchange Admin Center. Now, to be able to view this property, um, you can go and type get ecp virtual directory. You can specify a server or you can just leave it, uh, just get ecp virtual directory. And then I'm formatting the list with you know, admin E for admin enabled. So as you can see, admin enabled is set to true. Now, if I do the same for my second server in my DAG, you'll see that it's also set to true. Once it comes back, there we go. Okay, so if I wanted to remove access to the ECP, right, I could use set dash ECP virtual directory minus server. Uh, actually, let's do it this way. Get ECP, set ECP virtual directory minus admin enabled false, right? And then you can do the same with the other server. I just gotta wait for it to come back. Give me a second, it's just taking a little bit longer to perform its uh, task. I haven't got the fastest machines. Um, okay, so it gives you a warning. It will take five minutes for these configurations to take effect. If you want it to be immediate, then you can just restart IS and you know it'll be back in or it'll be set. So what we want to do is we want to set it to um, false on the first server as well. And I'm just going to log out here. And as you can see, I'm gonna just close this. So you can see that I'm opening a brand new page. I haven't got like a screenshot set. So you can see, I haven't waited long enough for it to do its thing. Sign out. So I could essentially close this, go and launch. IS reset. Just remember that doing an IS reset on a production server will obviously force your DAG to throw it over. Um, or if you don't have copies of your stores on, on the server, it will dismount. Um, when I mean dismount, disconnect your users. So it'll be they'll be disconnected, then reconnected. So as you can see, <coughs> IS started successfully, so let's try and launch our admin center again. It's going to take a little bit longer to think because um, I've reset it, so basically it's got to start up everything. Give it a second. So as you can see now, I don't have access to the Exchange Admin Center, but I do have access to the Exchange Management Shell. So if I launch the Management Shell, it's still connecting to my server here that I'm connected to. You can see I'm connected. I can, um, can check my databases, as you can see. There's my stores are mounted. Um, I can get mailboxes. So I can pretty much do everything now here because I can't access it here. Now the same rule applies if if you want to enable the EAC again. Um, get ECP virtual directory minus server. 
set is here. Sorry about that. Spelling is uh, minus admin enabled true. That then allows me to set it back so that I can log in again. Uh, the same rule applies. You need to run it for all the servers that you want to do it on. And then when you're done, you're going to do an IIS reset again for the changes to take effect, or you can just wait. And generally, if you wait the five minutes or so, depending on the size of your AD environment, it will set it. And then the guys will start getting error 400. And that's it for enabling, disabling the EAC. Thank you very much for watching.